Hello everyone, my name is Noe Zip and today uh, we're back with more Breath of the Wild and I actually haven't posted a Breath of the Wild video in the past like month and it's good to be back. So if you remember from last episode, we managed to defeat Bob Meadow, which basically means that we defeated all four of the Divine Beasts. But I found out something when I was just exploring at the map. If you remember, I actually got the Master Sword from glitching the game. And basically what it caused is that the game doesn't actually recognize that I have the Master Sword. I have the Master Sword, but the achievement is still there. So I want to see what happens if I just go back and try to get the master sword the correct way already this is pretty cursed i don't see the master sword but i can still uh, i mean i can still pull it but there's where's the master sword what? actually what happens if i just try to pull it all right i'm pulling it and okay it, it's taking my health away wait wait does it actually is it actually gonna take my health away i think i'm actually gonna die okay i'm I actually think Wait, enough. You would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. Prepare before you try again. What do you mean prepare? Oh, okay, I think he's actually asking me for me to get him a lot of hearts, but still, this looks extremely cursed. Like, I have the master sword right in my hands, but it's not there. Okay, I see one in the distance, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go to it because it's the only one I can see around here. Okay, easy fight. I just... Okay, not easy fight, not easy fight. And a Yiga clan member actually showed up. Okay, I killed the Bokoblin on top of the horse and I just need the horse to come back. I need to run away. Okay, the shrine's over there and I'm gonna just use big brain move and just wind bomb over it and hopefully this works. No, this is not gonna work. This is not going- I knew it. This is not going to work in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm just gonna stick to swimming, I guess. Okay, Link, how do you drown in that deep of water? That isn't even like one inch. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at. Okay, we actually managed to make it here without dying. And now we can get to the shrine. Wait, what? You must not harm the flowers. Huh? I planted flowers on the shrine. Please be careful with your step. You don't want to hurt them, do you? Yeah, but I want to hurt you. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like some sort of maze, but instead of like rocks, it's flowers. I stepped on one, didn't I? Okay, this bitch is actually kind of getting annoying. I can't step on any of these godforsaken flowers. And I have to find my way around this. Okay, I think I can jump over that. Let me see. Oh, come on. Okay, I did not touch any of the flowers. You can literally see that I did not touch any of the flowers. Oh, no. F I've lost count of how many times I've told you. It's just so many now. Okay, then you have to mention or something. Okay, come on. That's a little bit of an overreaction. I just stepped. On You're stepping on the same flowers yourself. I think that's a bit of an overreaction. I just stepped on some flowers and you're stepping on them yourself. I don't think you have to react like that. This bitch is a literal psychopath. She just tried to kill me. When I'm gonna kill you. I like that this game put so much time and effort into this one character that probably won't even be used aside from being a bitch at this shrine. Okay, finally we got to the shrine. I actually enjoyed this shrine a lot. I like the little challenge that they put us to do. Drifting. Uh, okay, I see a little gap in here and it's wind bomb time. Okay, it's not wind bomb time. I think we just... Yes, okay, we get on this, like, plank and then just jump in here. Okay, that's pretty easy. And I'm pretty sure it's the same here for here. Just jump and I messed up. And this one looks complicated. Okay, we have a chest and, like, a random bomb. And I'm pretty sure I think I know what to do. Alright, that was pretty easy. Alright, I'm actually pretty proud of myself for thinking of that one. Okay, and now we just head to Kakariko Village and then exchange the ores for a heart. Because I think that's where you go. This isn't Kakariko Village. Now this is Kakariko Village. Okay, now let's see if with the extra heart I have enough to pull literally nothing from the ground. With something which is literally taking away my life, which uh, it's nothing. Okay, there we go. I think we... Okay, yes, we did it. There we go. Link finally managed to grab literally nothing from the pedestal. That pose just shows determination. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like holding the sword 
at the top but right now it just looks like he's just putting his fist up in the air okay skip the memory because i don't feel like watching the memory which is probably bad what the hell are we doing it looks like we're just fighting something out of thin air what is happening here okay so now we have the master sword legitimately because we actually now have the achievement will you be able to save her as you are now yeah, I could probably do it. Um, who's stopping me from going to Ganon right now? I, I'm just going to go to Ganon right now. All right, I'm going to make a pit stop on that shrine because um, I'm trying to get every single shrine. So might as well start now. A minor test of strength. Okay, um, I have done one of these before and they're usually pretty easy. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't so hard. Wow, this was a whole ass town. That means that this had to be extremely powerful to cause this much damage. Alright, we're going into Ganon's castle with literally no preparation and no idea what I'm doing. So looking at the map at the bottom, this has to be extremely big and I'll pr most likely get lost inside of the castle. And it's literally filled with guardians, literally the worst enemy possible in the whole game. This is a terrible idea. And I just wasted a Mifa's grace. Are you kidding me? This is a terrible idea. I shouldn't have not come here. Okay, the Guardian doesn't see me, so I'm just gonna smack it because there's a lot of Guardians and I need to run. Okay, what is this? This looks extremely suspicious. There's literally nothing here. Let's see what this has to do. No! Wow, this is ex infested with literal malice and stuff. I have no idea how I'm gonna get up the top. Okay, no, I'm actually gonna just come back until I'm well more prepared. But now I just want to see something that I found off camera. So when I was just exploring around, I found like a shrine that was on top of these mountains. And I wanted to save it now because I tried climbing it and just could not do it. Okay, it's actually kind of getting cold in here. Okay, I think we're almost at the top then because um, I see like no more mountain on top of us. So I'm pretty sure this is the top. Yep, here's the shrine. I actually thought it was at the other mountain because the shrine map says that it was on the mountain. And I saw another shrine right there. Wait, never mind. There's actually the shrine right there. There's actually two shrines in this mountain. Okay. All right, twin memories. And I'll, I see a pedestal right here. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory to answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start. Lest a failure you will depart. That does not make sense. Okay, maybe something's at the top. I don't know. Wait, can I just wind bomb across this whole thing? <laughs> okay, there we go. That was pretty easy. That was actually probably the easiest shrine ever. Okay, now let's see what this one is. This is the original one that I found, and I found the other one, and I want to see what this one is. Literally the same puzzle. There's two of the same puzzles in the... The shrine is what I wanted to say. The shrines have the same at the top of the mountains. What? Okay, for last thing I want to do is I want to explore like that little circle house thingy because i found it and it looked kind of strange that it was perfectly circular so i want to check that out looks like ganon actually hit this place pretty hard because it's covered in malice and like these rock cheese shaped things and is that a lionel okay maybe it isn't a good idea to go on the house covered with malice and these cheese rock shaped thingies Okay, there's a mob over there, and I'm pretty sure I can take it. It's just, a, like, a lizard guy. I I don't know what it's called, but I know it's a lizard. I don't want him to fall over the edge, but he he's at the edge, but I don't want him to fall over the edge because that shield looks cool and that weapon looks cool. I But I don't want him to fall over the edge. Why won't you get away from the edge? Okay, I got him to get not at the edge, and turns out I don't have a lot of weapons, and can I hit that guy? No, I can't. Did he just jump over the edge? Are you kidding? Why? <laughs> he just jumped over the edge. All right, I'm going to be extremely brave and just fight the Lionel. It, it can't be that hard. Maybe it is like extremely easy and I just haven't fight it. Wow, how, how did the arrow just go through his body? Yeah, okay. This game is extremely broken because how did the arrow just go through his body? And yeah, this is actually kind of easy, not going to lie. Okay, I may actually regret saying what I just said a couple seconds ago. No!
Oh, my God.